Hey. I, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm Mike Berbiglia. Uh, I got one of those last names that you always have to spell on the phone, like it's B as in boy, I R B again, I G L I A, and I wish my last name were just boy. I'd be like, it's B as in boy, and then the rest of the word boy. <laughs> I'm Italian, but my family's not real Italian. We're like Olive Garden Italian. <laughs> Sometimes people come up to me, they'll be like, in Italy, it's pronounced birbiglia. I'm like, in America, you're annoying. <laughs> it was tough growing up, you know, kids would call me names like Burbigglebug and Burbibliography and Faggot. But I love being a comedian, I always wanted to be one, even when I was a kid, before I knew what comedy was, I knew I wanted to be a short Jew. <laughs> and my parents were like, we're Italian, and I was like, stop your kvetching. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to be a comedian, or a rapper, or the owner of a pizza restaurant where third graders could hang out. Rap was very different when I was a kid. It was very innocent. It was just like, rib it a rap, 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 a rap-tastic. <laughs> it's gotten so arbitrarily aggressive. Rappers will be like, it's 2005, mofo. I'm like, you're mad about the date? <laughs> you gotta pick your battles, man. I mean, you get mad about that. No one's gonna believe you when you're mad about real stuff. Like, you crashed into my car, mofo. Yeah, but you were mad that it was 2005. <laughs> You're like the boy who cried, mofo. <laughs> There's certain things that rappers do that I really like. Like, Buster Rhymes will have a good rhyme, and he'll just say his name. He'll be like, cat in the hat, and that was that, Buster Rhymes. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do that with jokes. Like, I like drinking coffee, but if I ever reach a point in my life where the best part of waking up is Folgers in my cup, I'm not sure I want to wake up. <laughs> Mike Birbiglia. <laughs> Surprises people I want to be a rapper because I'm such a ridiculously white bread cracker. Uh, sometimes I'll use the word cracker in my act because a lot of black comics use the N word. I like to use the C word. like. Me and my cracker friends were driving down the street in my Volvo station wagon, and I said, hey, cracker, pass the sun chips. And he says, not till we get to the picnic, cracker. And I say, cracker, please. <laughs> He's like, cracker, what? But I said that at a show, and this black guy comes up to me after the show, and he's like, you're my cracker. I was like, actually, sir, you can't call me a cracker. Only we can call each other crackers. You can say cracka, but not cracker. I actually have a habit of making awkward situations even more awkward. Like, I was moving a, a new bed into my apartment recently, and this woman who lived in the building opened the front door for me with her key, and she goes, I'm not worried because a rapist wouldn't have a bed like that. <laughs> now, what I should have said <laughs> was nothing. What I did say was, you'd be surprised. <laughs> and there's nothing you can say after that. You're just like, or whatever. <laughs> I'm dating a girl right now. I realized recently what I needed to find was a woman who loves me for my money, but doesn't understand math that well. <laughs> I lived with a girl for a while. We worried about different things. One day I said, what do you fear most? And she said, I fear you'll meet someone else and you'll leave me and I'll be all alone. And she said, what do you fear most? And I said, bears. <laughs> uh, it's nice being here this week. I, uh, 
the weird summer. I went to a funeral recently, and uh, they handed out Kleenex at the beginning of the funeral, which I thought was a little cocky. <laughs> like, wait till you get a load of this funeral. You're gonna cry and cry. She's so dead. And I got a sympathy card, but I find that a sympathy card is a very underwhelming gesture in a way. It's like saying, I know you're going through the deepest loneliness of your entire life, so here's a picture of a daffodil. I hope that works out for you. <laughs> That's why I want to make my own sympathy card. Like on the cover, I'd put a picture of a duck-billed platypus playing checkers with an apple, and then you open it up and it says, the world is f***ed up. <laughs> Mike Birbiglia. <laughs> Thank you very much, Montreal.